Okay, so as you see, I'm at whatismyip.com. This is so I know what IP address I'm using. Um, but let's go ahead and open uh, Putty. Um, and let's go ahead and uh, type in our uh, the host, the VPS. Uh, in my case, I'm going to use my uh, server. Now, you can always uh, save this stuff. So like here, I have VPS load. Uh, here it's port 22. That's what the normal SSH is. Uh, if this wasn't my normal... Uh, public server it would not be 22 <laughs> um, but uh, for this that's what we're going to be doing uh, now we'll go ahead and go to SSH under connections go to tunnels uh, uncheck local ports if that's enabled now source port uh, your normal proxy is like 1080 or well let's do 1080 just for shits and giggles here now we want it not local but we want dynamic dynamic and auto so go ahead and select add now we're going to uh, basically have a source port. So I'm going to use something like uh, uh, 96, 98, okay? And destination 192.168.1.104, uh, colon, we'll do 9688. Uh, um, and we want local. Now you might ask, well, how do I know what my IP address on my uh, computer is? Uh, go Windows key R and then CMD, uh, then type in IP config, and it'll be right up here, your 1.104. This is your, uh, basically your router, local IP address, which I'm sure you already know. Um, yeah, and if you don't, this is probably not the right thing for you. So make sure lo uh, local auto, uh, choose whatever port, make sure that these things are not already being used on your computer because you won't have a connection being added. Um, it'll just stall and you'll think, this isn't going to work. So go ahead and select add, then we'll open up the connection. Uh, we'll go ahead and log in as root. Okay, now we have a connection. How do we, uh, well, there's multiple ways, but in this case, we're gonna go to settings, advanced, and we're gonna, where is it? Network, uh, change proxy settings, land settings, user proxy, get rid of 80 because that's not what we're doing here. Uh, go local host. And then we'll do 1080. Remember, just socks. Socks only. Uh, make sure 1080. Go ahead and select OK. OK. And now if we go to what's my IP address again and refresh. And we're no longer on that other IP address. We're now on this IP. Um, so technically, if I go ahead and copy that and go ahead and paste and go, it'll go to the cPanel um, server. Now, questions at Lance Seidman on Twitter, L-A-N-C-E-S-E-I-D-M-A-N. Um, and uh, if you're ever looking for a shell and whatnot, um, you could get some really cheap ones. And I highly recommend you get some foreign ones, especially if you're going to be doing uh, whatever it is you might be doing. Uh, but if you're just like me and don't want, you know, Cox Communications to really know what's going on, um, that might be the right thing for you. And questions, let me know.